everybody, welcome to another edition of Make It Monday. Today I'll be showing you a wood grain tumbler. Um, there are many ways to accomplish wood grain look, and um, as I always say, there's no right or wrong way. Play around, find the way that works best for you, and go with it. This is probably one of the easiest um, designs that I'll show you guys ever because it is super simple very quick and the results are usually amazing the only thing I have to say is that I'm using a brush today that I don't usually like it's just the only one that I have on hand um, so I'll be investing in some more brushes for next time um, but sometimes these cheap this is like Home Depot or something. Um, but sometimes these cheap bristle brush brushes, excuse me, will actually leave some bristles behind on your tumbler. So um, it's a good idea to invest in nice brushes and just keep cleaning them. Um, but for today it'll work and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. This is actually a um, Bluetooth speaker tumbler that I will be doing. So all I've done so far is taped my top and bottom. I tape my tumblers, some people don't. Um, that's totally personal preference. So I've taped mine off and I've base coated with white spray paint. Um, and that's it, so we're gonna get going. Very simple, all you need is your base coated tumbler and um, your alcohol inks. I am using the Jacquard Pinata inks. These I get from Backfest Customs. And I'm using two different tones of brown, um, Havana Brown and Burrow Brown, but you're welcome to use, you can do wood grain honestly with any color. You can do pink wood grains, you can do blue wood grains, you can do black wood grains, you really can do anything. Um, I'm gonna go with the traditional brown. Um, and I just did two, just so I can have two different dimensions of color. Um, keep your alcohol handy in case you want to dilute your color in any way. Um, you shouldn't need to, but if you want to, keep it handy. Just use the 91% alcohol, and we're gonna get going. So literally all I do, I'm gonna shake these up just to make sure the pigments didn't settle. But basically all I do is hold my tumbler and drop my inks. This can get really messy. They are inks, but you can always clean it up with alcohol. Just for precautionary reasons, I'm gonna throw a little towel down and we're gonna get going. So here we are. And you literally just drop it. I usually drop it on my tape, my tape line, and then brush strokes. The brush strokes are what give you the wood grain look. And you go around a few times. You don't always have to start at the top. You can start in the middle, you can start at the bottom. It really does not matter. I start at the top usually and just kind of work my way around and then I'll go back in and fill in areas as needed, like that little white spot there. I'll come back to that. Boom. And as you can see, it's really, really simple. I'm just gonna take a few turns around. No big deal. Now I know a lot of people do knots. Um, I personally don't do the knots. It's a personal preference. It's actually a silly preference, um, but they remind me of something. And so I typically don't make knots in my wood grains, but you are welcome to. Um, the best way that I've heard to do it, I don't do them. So this is just straight from hearing from other crafters. But the best way that I've heard to do it is to drop your ink on and then kind of move in a circle motion and you'll get the knots. But again, I don't, I don't do them personally just because I prefer it without. Every time I see a knot, I think of something not so 
craft related. <laughs> and so I leave them off. I'm gonna scoot this just a little closer to you guys. And these ones that run, don't worry about them too much, but try and get them kind of quickly. Otherwise they will leave little trail lines. Um, but it's not a big deal if you don't catch it, because it will blend in. This is an awkward position to do this in. I usually am looking directly at the tumbler where I'm applying, and so this is a little awkward to me, but we'll make it work. And again, there's a few little white spots, just a few, and I'll come back at the end and get anything that I missed. Or I'll just use that other brown that we're gonna add on here and make sure to get those white spots first. But you see how quickly the alcohol ink dries? So you do need to work a little quickly once you apply it on your cup like that, because it will dry super fast. If you have questions about where to purchase anything. I will link everything that I can in the description about supplies and colors used and things. But again, there's no right or wrong. It's art and everybody views art differently. With tumblers, I know a lot of people will post things and say, you know, is this a fail, strip or keep? And even though you may think it's hideous, there's somebody out there that loves it. So don't question yourself. Be proud in everything that you create. And your customers will love it. So I'm pretty much covered with this particular brown all the way around. Now I'm gonna go back with this other brown. That one was the Havana brown. And now I'm gonna go back with this Burrow brown. Um, something you can do if you wanted to add even more dimension would be to add like a red to this, a red tone. To give you like a cherry wood or a red wood. Um, you can go lighter tones as well, a lighter brown. And that would give it a little bit of a lighter color. You can also dilute your inks with alcohol and make them lighter as well. I'm not going to do a lot of this color. I'm just going to sporadically add it on the top. And you see how it gives that just a little bit more of a dimension, a little bit more color. A little bit more for your eyes to look at. Now with alcohol inks, I do not seal this before epoxy. Um, there are some sealers that will end up turning your inks green. And although usually when you epoxy it, it does go back to its original color, I still just don't even risk it. All I do is I will let this tumbler sit overnight before I epoxy it. And that way I know my inks are completely dry and adhered to the cup and then the epoxy should be fine. That's how I've done all of my all of my wood grains and not had a problem that way. So if it works, if it ain't broke, don't fix it type thing. I don't like this little area. I keep coming over it a little bit till I'm happy with it. I think I'm good now. 
Now, obviously, if you are one that does not tape off your tumblers, you're gonna wanna do the same process to the bottom, but I would start with the bottom. So if this wasn't gonna be taped off at the bottom, I would start on the bottom and come down, and that way when you do your sides, you're gonna cover up anything that came on the top, I'm sorry, on the bottom that came on the sides. Um, so start on the bottom and then work your way around. But I'm done. In 10 minutes, we have a wood grain tumbler. I'm gonna go ahead and take this tape off just so you guys can see it, um, but I will let it sit overnight before I epoxy this. I'm also gonna take this off so I can show you guys how to clean it up. Because even with tape on it, sometimes you will get your ink onto your stainless. So literally all you do is a little bit of alcohol corner of my thing and it should come right off just be careful you don't get it on the area that you don't want cleaned off but that quick I got that off there might be some on the bottom too but see yep there is see there's some alcohol on the bottom and I'll, I mean ink on the bottom excuse me and I'll just rub some alcohol on that and it's gone. So it's that simple to clean up. Same thing right here. I've got just a little bit where it seeped under the tape. And I will just wipe that carefully. And that's it. Now I will retape this before I epoxy. Um, when I tape it, I will tape it just below my line that I created with the ink, and that way my epoxy adheres to the tumbler itself, not just the alcohol ink. But that's pretty much it, guys. You've got a wood grain tumbler in less than 10 minutes. Again, you can do this with um, alcohol, I'm sorry, you can do this with any color, blue, pink, I've done blue wood grain, I've done pink, I've done all kinds of colors. Um, so don't be afraid to try different colors. When I wiped my alcohol ink off right there, I wiped a little bit too much. So I just went back over it and fixed it that simply. Now I'm gonna wipe the excess off carefully. And there you go. Like I said, 10 minutes and you've got a wood grain. So like I said, I'll let it sit overnight. I will retape it tomorrow. I will tape it just below the line that I've already created and I will epoxy it. So I hope this helps everybody. I hope to see you guys again really, really soon. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I will be uploading more videos ASAP. And until next time, happy crafting.